responsibility for their stories. <laughs> Denny, Denny, you must have a Bill story. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Come on, Danny. Come on, Danny. I'm not good at this stuff. Oh, yes, you are. Yeah. We know you. Danny. Yay, Danny. There he is. Tell him about prison. <laughs> Stop talking. Is that you, Bubba? You look good in shorts. I can't tell the chicken story here. No. So, no. Please. Uh, <laughs> he told the history. Uh, this, that's what I had, uh, when, when Bill and I were in the, I met Bill in the Cardinals actually, and, and we were on tour, our first, uh, and the, the band was really pretty neat because we were doing old Flat and Scrug stuff at a time when it was like jam, uh, the New Grass Revival was starting to hit, and, and, and the Cardinals were the only band that were, was playing the, that was playing. I, I could still hear that. Yeah. I thought it was my tinnitus for a second, but it wasn't. It was just a And, and uh, so we had the, uh, the first tour, I think, Annie was, I believe it was like at least six weeks, maybe a little bit less. But we just finished the very first Cardinals album. And as I mentioned, uh, Bill sang Rolling On. He was actually had the first two t vocal tracks on that. Randy Graham, great singer, this and that. But anyway, we're on tour, and we, uh, no, I said time. Uh, <laughs> we, get to, we get to Washington, uh, D.C. We're playing at, uh, we played at the uh, Birch Mary. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Bill says, well, here, we're here for four days. I'm, I'm going to go to the Smithsonian and, and look at him, and because he, he was a, the best read guy I know. Not, yeah, you know. <laughs> and, and, Don Parmley, who was the leader of the band, said, Now, Bryson, why are you going to the Smithsonian? You can't learn how to build a canoe by reading a book. And, and we just kind of looked at Don. But uh, later on, we were in Columbus, I believe, and Don Parmley, uh, who has recently passed as well, uh, was a driver for Continental Trailways for years and he quit that job to play bluegrass full time. And we came to us to a, a, a spot in the road and there was a sign that said blind crossing <laughs> and Bill and I are sitting in the back and we're about four weeks into this tour with these boys and, and uh, Don says nah, look at that sign he says, uh, he says blind crossing why would they put up a sign that says blind crossing one? If the man was blind, he wouldn't be able to see it anyway. And, and he was serious. And right then, Bill and I decided, un and we were roommates, and unbeknownst to each of us, uh, later on, we quit the band on the same day, and we hadn't even discussed it. And it was a great, it was a very great and exciting band. And they moved back. Mostly it was just to stay in the L.A. area, I think, a lot of it. And they moved back east, became you know, hugely famous and all of that. <laughs> but that's it. I mean, I don't, I, I don't have any other. And, and, I, and I lived in Frank Sullivan's garage because of Bill. That's what that's for. <laughs> and things haven't changed. I just moved from one garage to another. <laughs>